boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Freeland here. Hey, we're going to work on a strategy for reading that's going to help us smooth out our reading and make it sound more like a storyteller. So when we get stuck, we're going to say to ourselves, first solve. So when you are not sure of a word, um, that's kind of like a bump in the road. When you're driving and you hit that little bump and you want it to smooth out. So in order to smooth it out, you're going to reread once you figure it out and say it's smoother and then ask yourself, what's going on in the story to help you figure it out? So let me show you how I'm going to use that strategy because really in our minds, we do it quite quickly when I read. So I'm going to rereading the page and I might hit one of those little bumps where I get stuck. And then I'm going to say to myself, solve it, reread it. Make sure it's smooth and know what's going on in my story. Think about what happened last and what's happening next. So remember, Froggy was looking for a snack. And then this is what his mom said to him. Froggy called his mother. What did you forget? It's our, we're going out to eat. Oh, what's that word? Uh, I got to solve it. I'm going to reread it. It's our anniversary. We're going out to eat. Now I'm going to think what's going on. Yes, it was something special. That's why they run it to eat. Hooray, said Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get dressed up, dear. We're going to a fancy... Oh, I got to fix up that word. I got to solve it. What are they doing again? They're going out to eat to a fancy ooh, restaurant. So Froggy flopped into his bedroom. Flop, flop, flop. Boys and girls, did you see how I did that really quickly? I had two bumps. I solved those bumps. I went back and reread them. So when I got stuck on the word restaurant, I said, we're going to a fancy, and I didn't know what to say. And then I figured out restaurant. I reread that sentence. So it was smooth. We're going to a fancy restaurant. And this one, did you forget? It's our, we're going out to eat. It's our oh, anniversary. Did you forget? It's our anniversary. We're going out to eat. Boys and girls, that's really important. After you get stuck on a word, you need to go back and once you figure it out, reread the sentence and read it the correct way smoothly, like a storyteller voice. Because then your brain goes, oh, I know what that word is now and I'm gonna slip it right in and say it the right way. And then the next time you see it, I bet you'll get it right. So boys and girls, this is what we do. We solve, fix the problem, we reread it, and then we think, what's going on? All right, I know you can do it, boys and girls. Good luck using that strategy today. And maybe if you do that while you're reading a book, you should put a little sticky note in there, share with your partner, your teacher, or someone in your family that you solved, you figured out the word, and then you reread it really smoothly. So it's like, now your brain knows it. All right, boys and girls, you're getting to be strong readers. Have fun today.